I'm going to give you three tips that will change your life in the next six months. We are at the end of 2024. I stopped making New Year resolutions six years ago. Until you take responsibility for your life, you are the author of your life. I just want to share only three tips that can transform your life in just six months. But it is not for everybody. It's not for the weak-hearted. You know, the Bible says that the kingdom of God separates violent and only the violent take it by force. Meaning that life is not easy. Life is not going to be easy. It has never been easy for anybody. You know, you just have to take the bull by the horn. It's either you make excuses or you make results, but you cannot have them both. So if you are truly willing to transform your life in 2025, if 2024 has been nothing but challenging, if you are at the end of this 2024 and you look back and you know that you need to make some positive changes, how about starting with these three tips? And I believe that there's not any transformation, positive lasting transformation that will be far from seeing yourself happy and fulfilled. And I don't mean faking happiness or throwing up party, placing on social media platforms or faking it. I mean, real fulfillment, real joy, you know, that flows within you, that anybody that comes in contact with you will feel it, will notice it, be it visual, be it physical. So what are these three tips? Number one is for you to bring a positive change, a positive transformation in your life. You must be willing to cut ties. To burn bridges to close some chapters you must be willing to start afresh if starting afresh is something that you don't feel comfortable with then this video is not for you because age is just but numbers you can start afresh at any moment at any stage and make that you turn so be willing to cut ties many ties i don't care who they are colleagues friends, family members, be willing to set boundaries, healthy boundaries, you know, limit access to yourself, respect yourself by setting boundaries, healthy boundaries. I don't mean being enemy with everybody. You cannot be happy when you allow access to yourself. You are not a public restroom where anybody has access. It will be very difficult for you to close chapters cut ties with people burn bridges if you are the people pleaser type number two you are what you eat it's our physical body is our subconscious mind you are what you eat when your body does not get enough nutrition enough um, hydration and enough rest you know minimum of eight hours sleep in a day when you deprive yourself of these three things, nutrition, hydration, and rest, you'll be prone to depression, and you will find it difficult to think from a place of inspired thought. Because when your mind is tired, you know, there is a physical tiredness and there is something that we call mental tiredness. When you are in that place of mental tiredness, there's no way you can make a decision that comes from an inspired thought your decisions will be coming from a place of impulse that's your decision will be uh, motivated by things that is just happening from nervousness from stress from anger from an unhealthy uh, state of mind but when you have your mind calmed you have rested and you have eaten well nutritious food and when you have enough hydration trust me you will have your mind cleared if you can meditate and add it with prayer many people don't do all these things that i mentioned they just want to pray and hope to make 2025 the best year of their life after our first day of the year they will write their new year resolutions which i bet you it has never helped anybody without action you won't achieve anything and for you to take action then you have to make sure you take good care of your body your body is the only house you will live. So no matter how beautiful your, your, your 
your apartment is, your building is, where you live. If you deprive your body what it needs, if you sabotage your health, then whatsoever you put on that list of your New Year resolutions is set up to fail because you are already failing yourself. The last one is know what you want and have the courage to go for it. You cannot scatter your energy and hope to achieve something at the end of the year. You hope to, to have a massive, you know, achievement, make that mega achievement. You are only deceiving yourself. If you want to make a step forward, you must first of all know where you are going. So set, you know, plans for 2025. Set plans for next year. Make, in fact, if it is possible, set a five years plan from now. What do you want to accomplish in the next one year, in the next three years, in the next five years? Then write it on paper. Always write your thoughts on paper. Because if you just think about it, within six months, you must have forgotten most of all those things. But when you write it down, keep yourself accountable. Writing it down, you can ask somebody that you can trust, okay, to keep you accountable, to check on you. Like three years ago when I... I told everybody that this is what I am doing. I want to pursue a bachelor's degree in psychological science. And they knew very well that I have family to look after and I'm into full-time job. So it's something that is, to so many people, it looks impossible. But the reason why I shared it, I would have kept it to myself. But I shared it because I know that if people don't know about it, I might be forced to give up, you know, when I start facing challenges. First, my family members are the people that I know that they will keep me accountable. They will be checking on me. They will want to know how far. Mom, you said you're having exams next week. How far? And immediately, is they will ask, oh, how did the exams go? Did it went well? These things keeps you accountable. Colleagues, they might be mocking because out of jealousy and envy. It's see, okay. Their mockery will be a motivating factor to fuel you. If you have my type of character, you will use it as a motivating force. Not focusing on the prize. Let them mock you, but the results will speak. And that was what I did. When I graduated, I invited not just my family, my children, but I invited all my colleagues. I know all of them will not come. Not because the, many don't want to come, but because of the nature of our job. It is impossible to, for you to get all your colleagues to be seated in one table. People are at work. Some are doing morning shifts, some are afternoon shifts, and so on. So, But at least I took my victory. I did it. I made it. You know? So having this at the back of your mind, focusing on the prize... All things work it together for your own good. Know what you want, put it on paper, set achievable plans for you. Keep your eyes on where you are going, but don't allow yourself to be overwhelmed. From time to time, take a break, pause, retreat, recharge, and come back. From time to time, disconnect to reconnect. I don't know if I'm making sense. If you are able to do these three things that I mentioned in this video, I promise you that within six months, in 2025, within six months, you will see a massive positive change in your life, in your career, in your health. If you can do these three things, you will start to see, no matter how little, no matter how insignificant, be consistent, don't give up. You will face challenges, everybody does, but what counts is that you keep showing up no matter how you feel be determined and refuse to give up show up for yourself for your future self for your dreams show up for your purpose show up for your aspirations nobody out there will do it for you and if not you who if not now when i hope to see you in my next video and i hope that you have learned something from this video and if so i am blessed in my next video, I will still share more tips because there are lots to add to this. If you truly want to make 2025 
one of your best years.